hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel my name is Kobe, and this is skytech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to update your php version so um let's say you have a website and then the website is giving you you know um a notice that you need to update your php version to be able to install a particular plugin or a particular theme now um this tutorial is for you so to check your php version um there are so many ways you can check it now one of these ways is what i'm going to what i'm going to show you so now go to tools over here and then um you know tools over here and then under it you go to site health okay now when you go to site health you can see um, whether your site is in good health or not it will load for you so if it is in good health it will show you over here that what your site is what is good okay now if there are certain things you need to um you know update you'll be able to what be able to update so as you can see over here they said three recommended improvement over here now um one is security one is performance and then uh, two is what performance over here so this one says you should at least use an object um cache okay so now all these things um it's not really what we are here but what we we are really here is go to information over here now with the information you're able to see all the available information on your both your uh, website and then your server so when you scroll down over here you see your wordpress information all the other things um, which you are supposed to see on uh, the website um, wordpress version that you are using and all those things and then um what we really want to check is our server over here so when you click over here you see um the server architecture and um, everything that you are using for the server so the php version is what 7.1 as i'm using right now and then um you know the memory time limit and then the memory um limit uh, php time limit and the memory limit and then you know maximum input time maximum upload files size all those things you see it what over here okay now the most important thing we are talking about is the php version over here now as you can see as of now um the php version i think we have about 8.1 or so now this is what 7.1 which is um you know not the latest one so we want to upgrade it to what um 8.1 okay now how do you do it now to be able to do it you need to make sure that you have access to your wordpress or your sorry your c panel okay make sure that you have access to your c panel so make sure that you are able to log into your c panel and that is where you can control your server so if you are using a managed um you know wordpress um server or maybe your your you you are being managed by somebody else so you don't have access to your um, c panel then i think well, the best thing to do is to contact your hosting provider or contact the person managing your website for you and then tell the person that you want to upgrade your php version and then the person the person will be able to upgrade it for you but if you can have access to your c panel then the next um, tip is for you so um, what we are going to do is we're going to log into our c panel and then go straight to it update our our php version so let's get over there now okay guys so as you can see over here this is my c panel okay so um this is how the c panel looks like so all the um you know things that i need to manage in my what in my server okay so the cpanel controls my server everything that i can do my files and other stuff now what the most important thing is what we are going to what um talk about that is the php version now as you can see i am using namechip over here so namechip uh, makes it very easy for you to what have access to certain things so as you can see exclusive for namechip customers and all these things um is the ones that you will be using frequently that is why namechip have what um, you know brought it forward for you for you to be able to see it and see it well okay so um you know to update the c panel now if you're a namechip customer it's very easy you see that what you have select php version over here you can click on it but if you are not a namechip customer over here you can type and search for anything that you want to what you want to search for so let's say we want to search for php so just type in php and then you will be able to what um see these things over here so software and then php select php version so you can see it over here okay so you can click on this one to uh, to select your php version that you are using but since i am a name chip customer i'm going to use this one to select my php version and then i'll be able to what uh, i'll be able to um you know log into where the php version is 
and then um, we'll be able to change my what my version of the php now remember that the um, each php version have things that they have what, already activated so as you can see over here you can you know all the things that um have been activated under the current version which is 7.1 is over here you can deactivate and activate some of these things now i want to what, i want to change the version now to change the version is also very simple just click over here and then you see all the versions over here okay now i want to change it to what 8.0 okay so at least i know 8.0 is what um is a little bit um current or if you want to change it 8.1 is up to you but i want to go back to what I want to go forward a bit to 8.0. Okay, so I'm going to what? I'm going to click on 8.0 and then click on apply over here. So guys, it will load and then it will what? It will be applied to you. So as you can see, it has been what? It has been um, loaded and applied to me. Okay, so now I have my what? PHP version what? Up, um, you know, chained to what? 8.0. Now if I come over here and then let me refresh the website, um, the backend of the website. So let me just refresh it and see if the version over here which is 7.4 has been changed okay so now um if i go to what um server over here it has been refreshed so i'm going to go to server and if i come to server over here, you can see that the php version has been changed to what 8.0 which is what the one that what um i am using right now the one that i changed in my what in my c panel has reflected in my wordpress what um you know tools over here which means that everything is what good for me and i'm good to go now so if i am having any problem with my um you know um plugins and other stuff it wants me to what update uh, or maybe you know um, change my php version to a higher version then i am able to what i am able to do that if i have to downgrade it to what a lower version for me to install some certain plugins i can be able to do so with it now if i go to status let's see if some of the health issues that they were talking about has been you know done i still not done it says what i need to have an active default team and then um settled this one and this one's are all what no sometimes you can even activate it in your what in your um in your php over here so if there is no object and um, whatever set you can what you can look for it over here and then you can what you can be able to um you know set it up okay and that is it so guys um i hope you, you this tutorial helps you to be able to what upgrade your php version to the higher version or downgrade it to what um, the lower version of it so thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye